Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Conjuring. In the 1970s, paranormal investigators Lorraine and Ed Warren are summoned to the house of Carolyn and Roger. The parents and their five daughters have recently moved into the secluded farmhouse where they notice supernatural presence occurring. This is one of my favorite horror movies to watch. I think James Wan directed this extremely well and I think what he does best in this movie is just really create atmosphere and there are a bunch of scenes in this movie that just really make us care about this place and care about the people and that's something that doesn't really happen that often in horror movies. The characters are great and as somebody that really likes watching movies that have great characters, I really believe the characters add a lot to the movie. I have to say these are some of the best horror movie characters written, in my opinion, especially Ed and Lorraine Warren. I think we really get to know them. They are more than just these paranormal investigators. We really get to know about their home life and we know what they're attached to, what their weaknesses are, and I think that that's very important in really setting up these characters, especially because they are reoccurring in the franchise or, I guess, I guess I should say in the universe. And as for the family goes, I also think I got to know them really well and there are five daughters so there's a bunch of people to get to know here and I think we got to know them fairly well and even though I can't tell you everything about these characters, I think we got to know them well enough and there were enough family scenes that we got to really care for them and we didn't want anything bad to happen to them so it made it that much better because I wasn't just watching random people get haunted, I was watching a family be all positive and then suddenly go through something something really terrible. Also, excuse my lighting, the sun is right there. It got very dark all of a sudden, but that's just because I have the window open and I guess it's about to start raining again, so I apologize. And I want to talk again about the atmosphere and the directing because I really like the directing of this film and the editing and the whole technical aspect. I really liked the whole documentary vibes it kind of had because the way the movie starts, it starts and it superimposes the title and then you get this entire big text and it's kind of explaining the basis of the movie because this is based on a true story so they're just laying out the facts and then there's a lot of scenes where it's in the perspective of a camera or they put a different filter on it so it looks like a documentary and older tape and I really really liked that. Even though it didn't happen that often I really enjoyed those scenes and I especially like the scenes where they were like setting up everything for the haunted house exploration like they were setting up the microphones the cameras and I thought that that was very fun and I really enjoyed that. I thought he did a really great job with handling jump scares. I will say the only flaw I have with this movie is that sometimes I think there are a little too many jump scares that makes any sense. I'm not a really big fan of jump scares. I actually want to make an entire video on that because I was thinking about some horror movies that I think could have been way better if they didn't over rely on jump scares and this movie doesn't use them that often but there are a couple ones that I was like that could have easily just been cut off and it made no purpose. It was just there to you know make us more scared but it didn't really add anything. But for the most part, he used jump scares to his advantage and I really appreciate him for that and that's why I genuinely just really have a big love for this movie because he knows how to use jump scares. It's not perfect with the whole jump scares thing, but that's just something that's my preference. I know people that really like jump scares. I don't like them that much, but the ones that we got, there were a lot of really good ones that I felt were awesome. Also, I really like the soundtrack of this movie. I thought it was very cool and hip and 70s. And there were just a lot of really great scenes in this movie. And this horror movie is scary. I honestly don't get scared by it anymore. But the first time I saw this movie, I was really little. I had to be like 12 or 11 when I saw this. I was really young when I saw this movie. And I remember just being terrified of the demon. And I was so scared of her and everything with this movie. And since it's based on true events, I just kept thinking that would happen to me. But... Watching it now that I'm older, I don't really think it's that scary, but I still think it's haunting enough and very eerie, but I honestly can't remember the last time I got scared by a horror movie, but this is like one of those movies that when people ask me, oh, what horror movie scared you? I always say this one, and I don't know if it was, I was like way younger, 
but yeah this one really scared me and the demon is great and I thought that they explained the story of the house really well I think that's a problem with a lot of paranormal haunting movies they explain it and it kind of just feels dumb or it's not like explored enough and I think they did a pretty good job of doing that and I really liked the whole way they connected it to the main family and the mother I won't really get into spoilers in case you guys haven't seen the movie but I thought that that was really great and I definitely enjoyed that and the third act of this movie is fantastic it's horror i again will not give it away if people haven't seen it i don't know if it's really a spoiler chairs flying blood the demon like i think if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about but it's really good and it's very tense and it keeps you on your edge of your seat and i really like that about this movie i have seen this movie way more times than i can count on my hands and i love it every single time that i watch it it's such a great one and it's a movie that genuinely to me is one of the best in today's modern day i think it really understands what horror is and when it does use jump scares although sometimes are excessive i think they use them at a really good place and i really like this movie and i'm gonna give it an A. It would have been an A plus if it didn't have too many jump scares but I still really liked this movie and I love it. I mean it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time and because it's so entertaining and at the same time gets under your skin. Thank you guys so much for watching today's review. I am having a lot of fun doing these horror movie reviews. I absolutely love horror movies and I love talking about them and I'm very excited to review some more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!